Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, it's that time of year again when my UCSA video is starting to make the rounds again. And I can tell, because looking at the stats, every August, the views and revenue on that video start shooting upwards really fast. And I know what's going on, you guys are starting to think about college essays and applications now that the applications have officially opened. Now before I say anything else, I just want to say don't fret, I'm rooting for you, and you got this. Um, I was in your same shoes two years ago and it seems very daunting, but you will make it through and I believe in you. Now with that being said, I've been editing and reviewing college essays for the past two years and in that time I've looked at hundreds of personal insight questions for the UC application as well as many common app and other supplemental essays for different colleges. And so I wanted to make this video because I wanted to show you guys exactly what mistakes I see most frequently and how to address those and make sure that you're not making those mistakes so that your essays can be as strong as they possibly can. I also just want to add a quick note before we get started that I am still doing essay reviews and I will put more information and pricing info um, in the description below as well as in the comments. But without further ado, let's get into it! Number 1. Too flowery. So I know there's this common idea that your essays have to be super unique, have a lot of metaphors, and be really really creative. But many times students take that a little too far, to the point that these metaphors and fancy writing are actually detracting from your main point of your essay. Starting off with an engaging hook is great, but you don't want to be spending so much time and word count on building these metaphors and flowery language that you lose track of what you're actually trying to express through your essay, which is what kind of person you are and why you are a good fit for that school. Now, I'm not saying your essays should be totally bland, that would be a little boring and it's probably not great, but make sure that any metaphors or flowery language that you do use is actively contributing to overall enhancing your essay and enhancing the main points that you're actually trying to make. In other words, make sure that every sentence you write has a net positive contribution to the main point of your essay. For the UC personal insight question specifically, I remember being told by a UC Santa Barbara admissions officer to treat it as if it were an interview on paper. Just remember, you're being judged on how good of a fit you are for the school as well as how successful you would be at that school, so your essay should really be focusing on demonstrating aspects of your personality that show your ability to succeed at that school. Number two, not enough individual experience, relying too much on cliches and generic statements. So one thing I see a lot is when students have done something super super cool, but when they write about it, it just falls a little flat because they write in a way that's a little too generic and they don't talk enough about their unique individual experiences. A good way to measure this is to look at your essay and think, how much of my essay is something that only I could have written and I could have come up with? If I were to steal your essay and put my name on it instead of yours and turn it in, would it still make sense? Or is your essay so specific and so unique to your own experiences that there's no way I could get away with stealing your essay? Have you talked so much about your own personal experiences and unique individual experience that no one else could claim that essay as theirs? So an example of this would be anyone can say, through hard work, I achieved my goals. But only you could say something like, through training every day and holding myself accountable while balancing schoolwork, family obligations, and social commitments, I was finally able to work up the stamina to finish my first marathon. And when I make this point, I'm not saying that your experiences have to be so unique that you're the only person on earth who can ever talk about that. I'm not saying like you have to talk about how you were the first person to step foot on Mars or anything like that. But you do want to make sure that your essay is not generic and that you're putting as much individual experience into it as you can so that it provides important signal to admissions officers about what kind of person you are, maybe your work ethic, things like that. Number three, lack of elaboration. So when I read essays, I'm always blown away by the things that students have achieved throughout their high school years and maybe even before that. However, a lot of times these essays are just not reflecting just how cool these achievements actually are. Details are really important. For example, if you mention that you founded a club, that is really cool. Don't just move on from that, elaborate. Like, I want to hear more. I want to hear about how you turn an idea in your head into an actual club that you can run and how other students participate in. And it shows a lot about your work ethic, your dedication, your passion, things like that. And when you don't describe these things in enough detail, you're lacking the opportunity to really sell yourself and show admissions officers just how passionate or just how dedicated, etc. that you really are. And those personality traits are exactly what admissions officers are looking for when they are reading your essay. Sometimes I give this feedback and students tell me that the reason they can't elaborate on things is because of the tight word count. And I hear you, the word count is a little too low sometimes for me to really feel like I can say everything. However, in my opinion, quality far surpasses quantity. You want to make sure that in your essays, you're not just rattling off a laundry list of the things you've achieved or the clubs you've done, things like that, because that's what the extracurricular activity section of your application is for. In your essays, you really want to dive deeper into the next level and bring to life some of these activities in a more detailed way so that admissions officers can see 
exactly how you made these things a reality. So if you're having trouble narrowing down what to talk about, I recommend looking at all the topics that you want to talk about and pick your strongest few and focus on those. Really hone in on those and start describing them in more detail. Try to really describe yourself in a way that allows the positive personality traits that you're trying to display really shine through. Number four, forgetting the purpose of the essay. Your essays are not a creative writing piece or a journal entry where the purpose of the writing might be self-expression, self-reflection, or things like that. Instead, your essay is very focused on a very specific purpose, and that is selling yourself and demonstrating to admissions officers why you are a good candidate for their school. And I know college essay prompts oftentimes seem like they could be journal entry prompts, but you want to make sure that you know the distinction. A big mistake I often see students make is that they get carried away as they write and write and they start to lose track of why exactly they're writing this in the first place. As you revise and draft up multiple versions of your essays, make sure that you always keep this in mind and that you're checking in with yourself periodically to ensure that what you've written is still hitting the main goal of your essay. If this were a journal entry, I'd say go for it. You can talk as much as you want and ramble all you want about anything that really comes to mind. However, since you are writing a college essay, you want to keep irrelevant details to a minimum and make sure that every sentence is contributing positively and significantly to the main idea that you are trying to express about yourself. And number five, telling instead of showing. Make sure that when you're describing something, you're showing the reader instead of just telling things to them. For example, if you led a club event, telling would be something like, the event was a great success. Whereas showing would be, as I walked around the event and chatted with the participants, the smiles on their faces and their enthusiasm filled me with a sense of achievement. You can see how the first sentence doesn't really show anything to the reader. They can't picture anything, they just have to take your word for it. Whereas in the second sentence, you're giving tangible details that lead the reader to draw the conclusion that you would have said anyways if you were to tell them. Showing is always stronger than telling because the reader doesn't have to take your word for things. They can actually look at the descriptions and details and come to the conclusion themselves. So a good rule of thumb for this is to make sure that your sentences aren't forcing the reader to take something you say at face value. So don't say something like XYZ happened. Describe exactly how that happened, what it was like, and allow your reader to build up an image in their head based on your description that allows them to come to the same conclusion that you wanted to tell. So yeah, those are the five most common mistakes I've seen when editing college essays for students. Feel free to let me know in the comments below if you have any questions, concerns, feedback. If you're not comfortable posting publicly or if you want to request an essay review, you can also DM me on Instagram. I'll put my at somewhere on the screen. With all that being said, best of luck to you seniors out there. I know college essays are not the most fun thing in the world, but you got this, I believe in you, and you're gonna do great. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.